Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori oh, and little Mr. Alex. <laughs> my little big boy. You can say hi. He said no. Wellington's sleeping over there. All right guys, I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Not too giant, but some fun finds. Excuse my band-aid. I think I sliced off part of my thumb on a mandolin. I mean, just a little chunk of it. I found it. It's not in with my cucumbers. All right, let's get started. I got some fun stuff for us. Uh, I got, I did separate a little bit, but I grabbed some beauty. This is a headband. I am letting my hair grow out just a little bit. So I needed some, I thought some fun things. Um, this is scrunchy brand or scunchy or however you say it. And these are like little jewels. I just thought it was super cute. I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this one for when I ride. And it also has rubber on the back. So this is more of a fitness headband and it will hold my hair in place. And this is from the Athletic Wear by Expressions. I have another headband from them. I like wearing headbands under my helmet, it just keeps my hair out of the way. So I grabbed that, and then I grabbed a three of these. These are the little, I, I use them as drawer dividers. Um, this one is gonna be specifically for socks. Uh, no, bras and underwears. I'm going to stack them up like a Maria Condra situation and then my bras. So I grabbed three. I think that'll be big enough across in my drawer that I'm going to use them for. I love these. They do sell them at Ikea, which I have some, but these are, you know, for a dollar. And I like that they have this little handle. So if I want to slide them around in my drawer, and my drawer is about this thick. So these will work out perfect. And they come in navy blue. Um, I found, look at the size of this bucket, guys. Now, I got it in this teal. They had it in red, white, and blue. And it's giant. I will tell you, this would be perfect as an ice bucket if you have like a 4th of July get-together or whatever. I'm using it specifically for tie-dyeing um, to soak with the soda ash. My friends and I are getting together and we're going to do some tie-dye. But this is big. Also, it would be perfect for like outdoor toy storage, pool toys, all that kind of stuff. It'll probably end up in the garage to storing things. But I did grab that. And I'll put the stuff in it that's going upstairs. Oh, I found a new word search. I love these books. It's just A, it's pretty. And I love doing word searches. Especially if I'm working like at the Schottenstein Center at a job where I'm not seeing a lot of people. I'll bring this along and I'll just do the word searches while things are happening. Not that I'm working anything anytime soon, but you know. And this is Crown Jeweled. And I didn't realize it's a women-owned company. They also had Sudoku, which I don't do that. I think my niece does. I'll have to ask her. This is also great for like travel, airplanes, whatever. And I like it. So I grabbed one I finished my other book. Then I found these. Now this is the LED clip string lights. So it's the same, here, let me see if I can pull these out. It's the same um, wire lights. I'm opening up the package. So the box looks like this when it's closed. Um, and this was in the graduation section and it's just like the copper lights right and silver but this kit comes with 10 one two three four five five it says 10 oh 10 lights and it comes with five clear plastic clothes pins that you hang pictures from and i thought this is so fun and i know my little cousin will love it for her bedroom so I grabbed one for her and I grabbed one for me and I grabbed one for Sarah. I just think it's fun. Um, they definitely sell these for much larger, but also much more expensive. So, and then you just, these are battery operated, which is great. Takes two AA batteries. And like I said, I grabbed three of those. I 
have a lot of multiples, I suppose. Um, the only thing in beauty that I grabbed was some of this um, Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel in this really fun pink for my toes for summer. I love this color. I'm going to be purging a lot of my old nail polish, so hi. Hi, buddy. So I grabbed um, ooh, some fresh, but I love this color on my toes. Are you okay, buddy? Did you say hi? Do you say hi to our friends? Do I say hi? You want to say hi? They're over there. They're over here. Okay, or not. Can I put you down? Why don't you sit right there? Thank you. Um, well, I also got in the same sort of area. Guys, I found Wonder Woman socks. Um, these are DC brand. But what I love is these are women size 9 to 11. So they run a little larger, which I like. And they're Wonder Woman. And I'm sorry, they're Wonder Woman socks. Her face is going to get a little skewed when I put them on. I grabbed two pair. I didn't know Sarah would want a pair or not, but for one dollar, actually I might save this and put it in her stocking at Christmas time because we love our Wonder Woman. So I grabbed two pair of those. They had those. They had um, Snoopy. They had Bugs Bunny in the women's. And they had, I think, Captain America at my store. And only one of my stores did I see these socks at. Um, I grabbed a three-pack of the paper masks in pink. I don't normally use a paper mask, but I love to keep them in my car um, for, A, if I pick up my brother or, and yeah, I'll make him wear a pink mask. Um whatever reason. I mean, I just like to have spares in the car and I went through my other pack. So I leave these in there for any type of situation. At uh, one time I brought all my masks in the house to wash and forgot to bring them back out. So I'm glad I had these in my glove box and they're just paper masks. No big deal. Nothing fancy here, but they work. They also had them printed, which I thought was fun. Uh, but I didn't, I had a lot of masks I didn't need it. I just needed one set. Um, in the office supply section, I found some of the correction tape roll-on. I do love the liquid, but I thought I could use this as well. I will probably stash this for my next year planner box. So I grabbed two. I have, very rarely do I see the roller tapes. Um, and actually the liquid was the first time I saw the liquid pen. But I thought this was perfect, so I grabbed two of those just to have. I use these a lot. And for a dollar, I think the one I got was Bic brand, and I didn't even like it. Oh, I need to keep this too. And then I also found this, which is a, an eraser. Look at the, how long these erasers are. And then this comes in a little click thing. And um, when I'm setting up my planner or doing my bullet journaling, I do it in pencil, and erasers are great. Now, my favorite is the Pentel, and I have that upstairs. I wanted to try this to see if the quality was similar. Same white eraser, and I know I saw this in different colors. Mine, I just got the gray. But we'll see. I don't, you know, it's a dollar, so maybe it won't be as good a quality, but they also saw the Pentel, Pentel, Pentex there at the Dollar Tree, and I love those erasers. They are wonderful. Um, I picked up two sets. This set here came from the beauty section and you get one three ounce spray bottle and one three ounce storage bottle. And these are for travel. And then I saw in the craft section, the little two ounce bottles. So I'm going on my backpacking trip soon. And, you know, because I'm wearing everything on my back, you want to save weight wherever you can. And ticks apparently are getting pretty bad right now in Ohio. So I bought some tick repellent, but I don't want to carry a big bottle of it. So I think I'm going to put some in here for us and fill this like halfway. I don't, we're not going to need more than that. And then put this in my bag, but I want to I mean, I'm, I assume this will be fine. I'll test it out before I leave just to make sure. 
since I've never tried the Dollar Tree spray bottles before. Um, this one's just bigger, and then I saw these, so I thought this would be perfect for what I need. So what I'll do is fill one with water, make sure it works, dry it out, and then put the bug spray in it, the tick spray for us to have. But again, we're only going to be gone three days. An ounce should be plenty for both of us. And liquid's heavy. So that goes with my backpack and stuff over there, which tomorrow I think I'll film my video. Um, in the pet section, I grab Luna some Dentalife bones. She really likes these. And these are made by Purina in the USA, I believe. Um, yeah, and she likes these. And these are good to have around my house when she comes to visit. And then I got her some bacon, fun size bacon and cheese flavored little treats. She's a little dog. And I just like to have some treats for her when she comes. Um, the cats get treats fairly regularly, especially Wellington, and she gets jealous. So she needs treats too, and I ran, I'm out. Trust me, if I asked her mother, she would bring me all the treats in the world, but I see them and I was just gonna grab them. Then I found in the house section, I got one more of these. I love these sponges. They do a fantastic job cleaning my house. <clears throat> And this is, I was running out, but I'm so hoping to see some more. But I grabbed the one I did see at one store. And then I picked up a four pack of these, which seems similar. Um, these are just not hard like the star shaped ones, but they are abra abrasive enough, I think. So I grabbed these. So sometimes what I end up doing is putting like, <laughs> I'll feed the cats and then I go upstairs to work and these are great to get like wet cat food out of their bowls before I put them in the dishwasher. Also like scrubbing tubs, soap scum, all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to try these because I didn't find a lot of the other ones. And yeah, I'm doing, today was a lot of um, house cleaning day. So I got two bathrooms completely clean, top to bottom floor wipe down the surface. All I need to clean are the mirrors and wash the rugs. And those two bathrooms are clean. And these come in handy for toilets as well. So I grabbed those. You know. Um, in the homeware section, guys, look at this. Like, this is perfect. It's just a little wooden box with a succulent in the middle. Again, goes with the other things I found, which I put on a shelf in my kitchen. I'll try to remember on the vlog to show you how I'm setting up my kitchen shelves, but this will go in there. It's just a succulent glued to the middle with some brown background. I love it. And if I wanna change up my decor, I can just pluck this out, paint it and put something else in the center. But I loved it. I thought that, and they had it in triangles, triangles as well, but I just like this little square. They also had it in brown. So I grabbed that and then I found these. Now these, were stored on my shelf like this, but they are sold individually. And they look like little drawers. So I have this size. And then I got that size. And then this size. So I picked up one of each because I'm gonna make a tiered tray for my shelf in the kitchen. And then I'm gonna put greenery in it. So I'll put a little, I will, I will show you. I'm going to do a DIY and then, but I'll put some floral foam in the bottom. I just need to find some greenery or recycle some greenery to stick in here and make a tall thing for a shelf. Um, and then I grabbed an extra one this size because I wasn't sure if I wanted like a two tier like this. Did I want to do it this? I don't know. So this is what I have found. They went fast, but I love these. I mean, honestly, they're just adorbs. So I grabbed those nice and sturdy. Um, so if you would like to make a tiered tray yourself out of that, I suggest if you see these, you could even do it with these. With like, not this specific or this specific, but with these picture frames that are look like that squared, you can do what I'm gonna do with these as well. Just get like different sizes. Anything really will work. Um, so I did that. Now, I don't do a lot of 
a memorial, 4th of July, that type of situation decorating. But I found these bunting and I thought we need to do something with that. So let's see if I can open this up without tearing it all apart. Cause I feel like these will hang on my mantle or outside. Um, I'm just opening them up to see, oh, maybe not. Where's my scissors? Oh. I had them. Just trying to open these up. And again, with this type of stuff, you just want to be really careful how you open these because they are a dollar, but that is adorable, guys. Yeah, these are gonna go on my mantle for like some 4th of July decorating, and I bought two, which I think will fit perfectly across the mantle. How fun is that? Again, would hang outside as well, but I think they're gonna look really good, and I will probably just put some double-sided tape because they don't really weigh much, and I grabbed two of them. So that'll go right across the mantle. So I'll have two bunting. Um, but I, I will tell you, I'm sitting here and the, it's like these little strings I'm trimming before they get out of control and end up this thing falling apart. I wanted to at least make it through one, mm -hmm, one season. So yeah, like how fun is that? I love it. So I have that to do a little indoor decorating. I have some other 4th of July stuff as well. In the garage when I go to decorate, I just don't do a bunch. And then for Mother's Day, I found this mom. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it up for my mom or if I'm gonna take it to my cousin's house and let them hang it up for her. Cause she's a mom and she's a good mom. But I love this, and it's all one piece, I believe. Um, yeah, and it's a nice soft pink, and it just says mom. So I grabbed that. And then the rest of this stuff I got is for summertime. Do a little summer decorating, and I might have a small little get together, so I thought I would stock up on a few things. Uh, first and foremost, I grabbed one of these cups, BPA free. They had them in all different um, prints, but I just liked this one. It feels very tropical. They hold 30 ounces and they have a very sturdy top with a spigot. So for me, something like this is take to the pool, take somewhere that I don't care if it gets banged up, beat up or lost. Um, maybe when I'm out kayaking, like if I go out early, this may hold my iced coffee till I get there, good in the car. Um, I love that the lid opens up nicely, has a nice screw top on it. I mean, this is good quality for a dollar. I mean, yeah, you want to take care of it. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher by any means, and I wouldn't stick it in the microwave. I'm trying to see if it says. It doesn't, but I can tell you from experience, do not, my, do not dishwasher these. Just hand wash them. Typically, I drink mostly water out of them. Um, if I do iced coffee, I do have a scrub brush. So, But I just thought this is super fun for summer and, you know, use it for the summer. And then sometimes I just get rid of them. And then next summer, I get something else cute. But they had several of these different styles. And it holds 30 ounces. That's a fair amount of liquid. So I grabbed that. Guys, from my coffee bar. They're drink stirs, but in my world, they're coffee stirs and they're flamingos. Like what? I am totally putting these on my coffee bar to stir my coffee in the morning. Do you know how happy these will make me when I go down to make coffee and I have to use their little feet to stir? And you get four in each one and these are the only two colors that I saw. But they're little flamingos. Like what? I know these are new this year because I still would have bought them last year. So I grabbed those. And then they had the, the um, they're calling them coasters. But most of them have a hole in the top. I'm making garland. And like these ones, the green leaves will hang upside down. The pink pineapple. And then the dark green, 
I will just hang from one of the top holes for the dark green leaves and then the yellow pineapple. And you get four in each. So I think these will make a fantastic garland of some sort. And I don't know if, I only saw the pineapple. I didn't see a flamingo uh, or a floral, but I have some florals from last year that I can use as well. But I love these leaves, like they're so fun. And they're a really thick, um, if you can see how thick they are, a very thick felt. So yeah, I'm gonna tie these up and make myself a pretty garland for something. I, I don't know what, guys, something. That stays down here. And then look at the silverware. This is pink, and this is the heavy duty silverware. The cutlery that it's not like the super cheap, and this is pink and glitter. Do you see the glitter? And then they had the teal glitter. And I just thought, how fantastic is this? Especially if I have some family over and we have a little cookout, I'll bust out this silverware 100% if I go camping. Sometimes if I pack my lunch to go somewhere, I like, and I'll bring it home and wash it and use it several times. But this is fantastic and it's nice and heavy duty, which I like a lot. So I grabbed one of each of those. And then I grabbed this for a tablecloth. It's sparkly, metallic, tropical color polka dots all over it. And this one is 54 inches by 108. And again, perfect. Also, I could do crafts on this if I don't have anybody over this summer. We'll have to see what the pandemic is doing. But you can even wrap gifts in this. Like, this is fun. So I grabbed one tablecloth. I don't really like the printed ones. My table is an odd size. It's, um, I don't even know how old it is, but it's an old farm table. It's kind of lower to the ground and a very odd shape. So... I like these that don't have a print and I can cut to shape or fold it in half, make it fit, you know. And then the last thing I found are coasters. Guys, look at these coasters. Now, you could, if you're drinking wine, you could stick your little wine glass in here and it would t identify whose glass is whose. I will probably just sit it out and you can sit. I would put my cups on it for summertime. Um, you could also use these on that garland. I could hang one of each of these. I mean, there's a million things you can do with them, but I think, let's take one out and see what it feels like. Oh, so it has like, this is like that foam, sticky foam on the back. There's a burlap on the front and then the little, <laughs> the little flip flops. Guys, these are adorable. Yeah, this is totally gonna be a coaster in my house. If I see another set, maybe a decoration. You could totally hang these on the wall. There's a million things you could do with these. I just, I'm ready for summer. I am ready for some fun. I am ready, guys, ready. Now, are they all yellow on the back? Yes. Yep, they all have yellow foam on the back. And these are so cheap that, you know, you don't have to worry if they get ruined, lost, broken. Who cares? I don't care anyway. Bring the kids over, let them mess up things. It doesn't bother me. But these are adorable and they're gonna go with my little tropical theme that I picked up. I mean, honestly, right here's a party. Grill some burgers and call it a day. Um, and I had just gone through part of my garage and got rid of, I had bags of, I say bags of cutlery, but what I really have is bags of knives. I was out of like the forks and spoons. I'm like, gotta go, peace out, you know. So I got rid of all of that and I am ready. I've been working in my garage a little bit today. I have vacation this week. I'm excited and I wanna go get my kayak on Monday. So there's that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little haul that I had today. Oh, I'm sorry, I did get one more thing. I got two pool noodles, not for the pool, but I got these for um, my roof rack for my kayak I purchased. I'm hoping this hole is big enough, if I stretch it and flatten it, 
to put over the crossbar so I could just lay my kayak on top and it won't scratch it up and I can cut them to width. Um, if not, I can cut down the center and like put it over the bar and just put some tape, like duct tape around it. I'm just trying to protect my kayak. So I grabbed two of these. I could also make a canopy for my kayak out of these for shade, but I bought a shade umbrella. I did. I also went to Five Below and bought a waterproof shower speaker so I can have music while I'm out kayaking. I can't wait for summer, guys. All right, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what was your favorite thing. All right, guys, I'll talk with you later. Bye.